Hello and welcome to the Monday Night Football Betting Picks video. I'm your host, Matthew Mutter for Lions.com. Joined here by Jacob Wayne. Today we have, in my opinion, a rather boring Monday night matchup of the Pittsburgh Steelers and Indianapolis Colts. However, that does not mean that there's not value to be had. Jacob, what's your opinion on the matchup and uh, where do you see this game heading? Yeah, I really like the Steelers here. Um, even though it's in Indy, I think the Steelers are a little bit undervalued still in the market. Um, this is just a team that had a brutal uh, schedule to this point. They've played the number one schedule in terms of offenses and defenses by DVOA. And even still, like they're they're pretty average in a lot of uh, metrics. But now they have TJ Watt back on defense, which completely transforms things for them on that end. And Kenny Pickett has looked better week by week. I still don't think he's going to be you know, a four touchdown quarterback by any means, but I think he's somebody who you, you can trust to run an efficient enough offense to complement what they're doing on defense. And this defense should be on the come up and be able to take advantage of a Colts offensive line that I still have question marks about. Um, even though they have been playing better recently, I think they're probably going to be on, on the downswing a little bit here uh, against the this, this Steelers front. So to me, the Steelers have the matchup advantages. I grabbed them as a teaser piece uh, plus eight and a half. If there's something that you like come, going into the uh, Week 13 slate, I think you can combine the Steelers with them in a teaser. I think that's probably the best way to approach this. But if you don't have that as an option, I, I still don't mind playing the Steelers plus money uh, on the money line or plus two and a half. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think, you know, I was hoping to get a little bit more of a discount. Um. But I, I'm pretty confident that this Colts team is going to get kind of blown out of the water when it comes to Pittsburgh's defense versus the Colts' offense. I realize the Steelers just gave up big play after big play to Joe Burrow. But Joe Burrow's Joe Burrow. That guy, like, I don't think we talk about... It's not that he's streaky, but he can just get hot sometimes and he's so hard to beat. They came out with a good game plan. You know, I fault the, the Steelers' defense a, a little bit. Like, it definitely could have performed better. But now what? another week healthier... Everyone on that team having ample time to prepare for this Monday night game. I'm pretty confident that the Colts don't get to three touchdowns. And I like them under 21 and a half, which you can get currently, I believe, on Fandle. But you can make a same game parlay here on DraftKings. And if we go to the team totals, which there we go, team scoring props. You go to the Colts, you go to under 21 and a half. It's at minus 140. So, honestly... I'm just pairing that with the Pittsburgh Steelers money line and getting myself plus 155 odds for the game. Uh, not the craziest value. I would definitely shop that around, so I'm not going to make it official play here. I'll comment down below the best number I get it at. But all in all, I agree with you, Jacob. I, I think the Steelers are undervalued, specifically the defense and specifically because of last week's performance. If that defense showed up at all, and, you know, maybe it's a 30-23 game, like, we would have expected if the Steelers put up 30 points. This game, I could legitimately see like a four and a half spread in, for, in favor of the Steelers. Like, you're, I think you're getting a pretty massive discount based off of the lackluster performance that we saw um, from the defense. Yeah, and I think just some of the mass, the matchup advantages that the Steelers have in this game, particularly with the, the fact that they've been running the ball a lot better recently, I think that goes a long way here. Um, but ultimately I, ultimately, I just think the Steelers are a team that should be trending up, whereas the Colts are coming out to, um, well, it wasn't a win against the Eagles, but it very easily could have been. Maybe it should have been a win over the Eagles. Um, I just think they're going to be trending down here now. And I also think that there's a massive coaching edge. I mean, I, I barely talked about that in my breakdown, but, I mean, it goes without saying that Mike Tomlin is a far better far better coach than Jeff Saturday, particularly with uh, Brian, Flores, Brian Flores on his defensive staff. Um, I just think the Colts are the worst team here. They're 20th in DVOA over the last few games. Steelers are 9th in DVOA over the last few games. And ultimately, I think you're going to see that play out. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind taking the Steelers' money line. I might put a little bit on the Steelers' money line before the before kickoff. But if you can get them as a teaser piece, I think that's really good value. I, I mean, I definitely agree with you. This is, you know, there's no sure things in betting, but this has to be my favorite teaser piece from the odds we have from today through next Sunday. Um just because I again I I'm I just don't see how the Colts score enough points that they somehow win this game by two scores. That seems really like a crazy set of events need to happen. I agree. Like 
I, I don't think when we talk about the Steelers, I talk about enough how much I don't like Matt Canada, and I wish they had a different OC. But at the same time, I wish this, the Colts had different coaches at every single position. Um, and this is no offense to Jeff Saturday as a human being, but I see a lot of people defending him, being like, look who he's been able to do, blah, blah. He doesn't belong as an NFL coach right now. Like, he, I'm not one of those people that's always like, you got to earn your stripes and stars and all that stuff, but the dude came from high school football, coaching NFL. He's going to get absolutely outmatched in this one. Maybe he's going to refer to this video in his Hall of Fame speech 30 years from now, but I highly doubt it. Um, I, I'm, I'm totally with you. I love him as a teaser piece. I'm going to sprinkle a little on the money line in the form of finding the same game parlay, and I, th I think that's all I'm going to really do to attack this game from kind of a team perspective. Just wanted to look really quick. The Colts are at an over-under of 2.5 touchdowns, but it's at minus 175 on DraftKings for under 2.5 touchdowns. That's, that's definitely not enough value for me. But if you get better value at another place... That's another place I'd, appro I'd approach it because I really don't see the Colts gain into the end zone three times in this game. Yeah, looking ahead, just to give a, a shout out, the uh, the one that jumps out to me for week 13 for teasers, teaser pieces, um, probably the Giants plus seven and a half, getting through that key number at home against the Commanders. I mean, the Commanders have been obviously on this hot streak, but I just don't see how they win with margin against what I consider really to be the best coach team in football right now. I mean, when you look at their personnel deficiencies, like how well they performed, I just don't see the Giants being blown out at home by the Commanders. So if you want to pair the Steelers with them, I think that's a, that's a nice look. All right. So to go over it, Jacob and I both recommend this as a teaser piece. Jacob, you recommend the money line, the uh, spread, not official plays yet. Same thing for me. Like, I'm going to make an official play at some point, but I'm going to find a different way to parlay this. I need to go through all the sports books. Um, and that takes quite a bit of time that I didn't have right before this video to get the best value, but it's going to be some combination of Colts under team total, Pittsburgh Steelers money line, and probably like a half to three quarter unit play there. Maybe, maybe just a unit straight up on the money line. I, I have to see what value you can get. All right, let's go to wrap it up for this portion. We're going to quickly go over the betting report card from last Monday night football. Uh, I had the over under, I had the under at 43 and a half that unfortunately didn't hit due to Kittle being Kittle and the Arizona Cardinals not wanting to tackle people anymore. I guess I understand. Patrick had that Arizona Cardinals under 16 and a half, the Arizona Cardinals 11 to 20, which we were both on and all in all, Jacob, you didn't have any official plays. I, I barely had an official play in this game. But it kind of went exactly how we imagined. I think just slightly more points for the 49ers than we expected. Um, but it just turned into a route so quickly. Um, I know you were originally, just if you want to talk about it, were thinking about the Cardinals. You quickly moved off that, obviously, with all the QB news. How did you feel about this game? Any surprises or kind of where you went? I don't know if you made any plays on Twitter either. Yeah, I ended up trying to put this, the Niners in a teaser. Um, because I, I hate laying that many points. I, I hate laying double digit points with the favorite in the NFL, but ultimately, like, I definitely thought they were the side with their pre preparation for that game. Um, I just trusted Kyle Shanahan to be more prepared for, like, that, that situation and those, um, that environment in Mexico City and the altitude and everything. And that definitely played out. I mean, you just saw, like, he had his guys way, way more ready to play in that game. And, I mean, I think ultimately, you shouldn't be scared to lay points with the big favorite if you have enough reasoning behind it. I think just being wary of like the historical trends surrounding that um, and weighing that against other factors. There you go. And uh, just remember that Call of Duty came out around a month ago and just look at where the Cardinals have been since. So maybe there is validity to that. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, you dislike. Click subscribe to get more great content like this. Check out the player prop version of this video, which we're going to record right now. We'll see you for the next one very soon.